Merhaba, İstanbul Güzel Sanatlar Merkezi'nin sunmuş olacağı bir workshopta birlikteyiz. Workshopu Amerikalı hocamız Henning Rufsam, çeviri içinde Selin Su'yu kullanıyoruz. Selin'cim, Henning kimdir? Bir sorar mısın? Um, who are you in this field and your general summary of you, I suppose? Well, first of all, thank you very much for having me here, Mehmet. Um, who am I in the field? Uh, I'm a choreographer. I think that is my my first job, so to speak, in the field. But I'm also an educator, and I love teaching. Um, so my first love is choreography, creating with people, um, and teaching in the studio. Um, as a technique teacher, but also for dance composition to help people on the way to find their own voice and make their own dances. Um, then I have that side of where I'm a dance history buff and I'm a, I teach dance history um, at a couple of colleges. Um, I started a program at Juilliard for the general public. Um, I'm teaching the college level at Fordham University in, in um, conjunction with the Alvin Ailey school in New York and then I'm a producer of dance because I believe in other uh, choreographers and in, in their work so and then I write about dance I'm a I'm also a critic so um, I feel like you know um, I am I'm looking at dance from every angle and I hope that I serve the field not just um, as a creative voice but also as a as a mentor to others. Önce Henning'e teşekkür ediyorum. Bizle birlikte böyle bir workshop'u bize yaptırdı. Yaptığı için çok teşekkür ediyorum. Sorum şu. Kendi teknikleriyle dansa ne kazandırmayı amaçlıyor? Um, first of all we would like to thank you for collaborating on this workshop with us. That's very valuable. Um, our first question would be what do you intend to add to the field of dance with the techniques that you are working on? So, um, I think technique, th and thank you very much for having me, Mehmet. Um, the techniques, um, yes, I, I'm invested in technique, but I'm also just invested in an expression of the individual and what the individual can contribute to a community in dance. I feel dance, modern dance, is a revolutionary force. and. Uh, founded by women, you know, Louis Fuller, Isadora Duncan, those were the pioneers. And um, then of course you had the German um, modern dance with Marie Wigmann coming from the Rudolf von Laban tree. And um, so there, there are these forces where self-expression in a, in a sense of community, in a non-hierarchical way, where you are as an individual are a creative entity and you share that crea creativity with the others. Mm -hmm. And um, so in the United States, um, Hanya Holm came from Germany and brought that Wigmann technique to, to the United States. And it really is about setting free um, that creative spirit in a person um, to find out what is the most efficient way to get across the floor um, how to get over a table or to get around an obstacle and because your body is different than mine I can share with you what works for me but you have different proportions so something else might work for you so you can take my information but you have to turn on your own light switch, right? To make that happen in you, and you take from different teachers, and you find what works best for you, and you find out by experiencing it. So, the teachers who say, this is the way it's done, I'm not that interested in that. I sort of want to give you a, an idea, and you have to decide is that working for me or or not right <laughs> that's very good nelerden ilham alıyor um what do you draw inspiration from the most in your work 
I don't want to be evasive, but I really draw from all types of things. Music and simply moving with music is, is certainly one thing. But then, you know, there is um, how I feel about another person or how I think maybe two other people will feel about each other. So I draw from the dancers I'm working with. What are, how do they move? You know, does one have a flexible back? You know, or is, is one very um, regal and has straight lines? So either working with that or working against that to sort of um, surprise, surprise the dancer, but making the dancer look good in the end. So it depends on who I'm working with, Sometimes the, the work is a response to the music. Sometimes there is a theme, either political or um, emotional, um, an instinct. So I, I think that keeps it interesting that I don't have a formula how I, how I am inspired to make a dance. I can, it can come from so many different ways, from different sources. That is very impressive and it also is uh, building upon the material that you have to work with, uh, every like a new method and idea for every dancer. For, for every dance, and that keeps it also interesting for yes. me. You know, I, I that, that way I challenge myself. Yes. If I had a would would go by the book, this is how to, how to make a dance. <laughs> yeah, well, well, yeah. <laughs> um, that is not very interesting, right? And I could. Might as well work a nine-to-five job at a desk. <laughs> so, so this way, I'm. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if it's going to work out the next dance, right? And sometimes you have to sort of change course midway, um, and something that is very serious might become much more light-hearted while you're working on it. Peki, Henning için bir dansı da olması gereken özellikler nedir? Um, and in your opinion, what are some of the most important traits a dancer should have in regards to personality or body, anything? Well, I think just the, the knowledge or the, the belief that beauty is revolutionary. Um, and a belief in beauty, I think, is something that we as dancers can give to the world. And I think that not not to be afraid of harmony um, and I think the what we can bring the trait of being open to one another and make that happen in movement through movement of being um, attuned to another another person well you have to be attuned to yourself but um, what I love about dance is that it is communicative in, in a physical way. So it is not, it's not meditative alone, right? You, you are drawing from your practice, but in the end, when you're on stage, right, you are taking in information and you're processing it and you're, you're a vessel and you're giving it. And so from the up space to the earth, from the one side of the stage to the other. And it's, a, it's an all-encompassing energy that, that we are um, like an part outlet, of. Like an outlet for the energy? Right? Yes, and so I, I think um, it doesn't have to be always performative. I am performing for a, an audience or for the camera. I can take an audience with me on a journey, right? So, so come with me. So to, to have the, to have that ability of telling a story without it being a story, but to create an atmosphere. You know, my, my company is called Sense Dance, and so that sensory awareness to know where the light is coming from, right? So that way, if the sun is coming from there, well, my, my neck might be a little longer on this side because I'm enjoying the sunshine, right? The wind. And so all of that creates a full experience. 
and an audience might not be able to pick up on all that I am experiencing, but they are picking up on a full experience. So rather than counting pirouettes, oh, he did two, oh, he did four. No, it's a turn, and what does that turn evoke in you, right? So that is, um, that's what I'm interested in, is that communication and that energy exchange through osmosis between the dancers on stage and an audience, and that communication. And, um, and so it's, it's more than technique, you know, where, where you <laughs> yes. hold something. And it's about giving and taking and being open to the moment, to life. Ee, çok güzel bir yarım Türkiye turu yaptı. Türkiye ile ilgili ne düşünüyor? Bu da son soru bize olsun. <gülüyor> um, it being your first time here, I believe you've had some time to look around and um, some free time to explore. Uh, what are you thinking of Turkey so far? Well, Istanbul, first of all, is a crazy, fantastic city. <gülüyor> I mean, for <gülüyor> you know. Um, is there anything as bad as Istanbul traffic? I don't know, but I mean the the riches, the riches of the city, the history, um, you know, and uh, I mean there are few cities around the world that have been a, a center of power for so long, and you have those um, old buildings that are still part of the cityscape that define it, right? But at the same time, it's a modern city. So it's history and it's, it's modern times. And, and you, I draw e exceptional energy f from that to know I'm in a place that has had that exchange of peoples for, for centuries, right? For, for, yes. for millennials. Um, millenniums, millennia. Uh, it's it's fantastic to see, and so I I was able to see um, historic sites around the country, like Troy and Ephesus, and um, I was in Cappadocia, was da down in Kash at the at the coast, at the southern coast, and saw some other. Um, uh, uh, ancient sites like San Santos mm -hmm. and uh, others. And yes, I mean, friendliness of people, beauty of the country. I mean, to me, it's just a, a, an absolute wonderful experience to, to have had this time of travel and now to be in Istanbul. Um, and it, it's you know, navigating the bus system <laughs> to, to meet you all. Yes. It's, it's, a, it, it's wonderful challenges and I love, I, I love being in a big city and, and tasting all the foods and the fantastic pistachio desserts. Yes. <laughs> it's but, but so know, delicious. But, but you know the bus number. <laughs> yeah. It's a... Uh, no, I I definitely want to come back. I know that much. It's it's a fantastic time here. Next time we will do more than things. Thank you. <laughs> Let's the workshop now. Thank you very okay. much for having okay. me. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you. Thank you.
Kızlar hepiniz hoş geldiniz workshopumuza. Ne hissettin? Ee, ben çok eğlendim. Benim ilk workshopumdu. O yüzden biraz böyle gelirken şeydim. E, acaba yapabilir miyim falan diye düşünmüştüm. Ama hem ortam hem hocadan kaynaklı çok keyif aldım ve çok rahat ilerledi her şey. Çok mutluyum. Sen? Evet. Ee, çok güzeldi. Normalde dansçı değilim ama hiç yabancılamadım ve çok güzeldi yani her şey. <gülüyor> Angelika? Eta bila afigiena. It was perfect. Ee, bu mükemmel bir ders. Ben çok seviyorum her şey. <gülüyor> Kocam. Azra, Azra. Ya çok güzeldi. İlk başta geldiğimde sıkılacağımı düşündüm. Ama böyle daha çok daha çok benim yaptığım şeyin çok daha farklı bir şeyini yaptığım için çok güzeldi. Çok güzel bir deneyimdi. Sen? Ben çok teknik üzerine çalışacağımızı düşünüp aslında çok güzel bir beden farkındalığı üzerine de çalışmalar yaptığımızı düşünüyorum. Bu yüzden çok mutluyum. Çok teşekkür ederim. Tamam, süper. Bir sen? Bana da çok güzel bir deneyim oldu. Hata yapmaktan korkmadım ee, ve kendimi daha çok keşfettiğim bir ders oldu. Çok teşekkür ederim. Eylül? Ben 3 yıl önce çalışmıştım aslında bu hocayla. Tekrar çalışmış olmak çok güzeldi. Zaten ders çok keyifli oluyor. O yüzden tekrar çalışmak istedim. Sizlere de ayrıca bu... <gülüyor>